20 years, I've harbored a secret. People talk about my sons and the evil things they did. Yet still I remain strangely mute. I do not discuss my own actions that day, or the rage I felt when I burned the two linking books that had snared them. Some people believe my sons died in those fires, but the truth is, they did not. You're the only one I can confide in, my friend. So I'm asking you to come to Tamara. There are things I must tell you about my sons. pretty from here. I remember some of the other times you visited us. You've always liked stopping here. It's one of my favorite spots, too. My friend, so you made it in one piece, so she's driving wasn't too erratic, I hope. Well, you're probably wondering why I asked you. you know, the truth is, I, I need your help. As you know, my son, Cyrus and Akinaw, were trapped 20 years ago after they destroyed many of the ages I'd written. At the time, Catherine and I decided to leave them imprisoned because we'd hoped it might reform them. And, uh, now Catherine believes our son should be released. But I need an objective opinion. I must find out if either Cirrus or Akinar deserve to be freed, and you're the only one we can trust. Remember my old crystal viewer? I've made some changes to it. I have yet calibrated its sound component. Um, it'll actually be quicker if we can do this together. I can show you the two prison ages before we link to them. So if you step to the panel behind you, we can begin. Ah, got it. Well done, my friend. You should be able to hear both prison ages now. So let's begin, shall we? In the name of... What a mess. The image 
which modulator short circuited wires are completely fused. Well, the viewer itself seems okay. So maybe if I link to rhyme. All right. A slight change in plans, my friend. Explosion must have shut down the main power supply and damaged the viewer's external image modulator. There's another one on rhyme, so I'm gonna link there and retrieve it. I'll have to stop at the cleft for some tools first. Um, why don't you get full power restored while I'm gone? Go to the water wheel control room, close both emergency release gates, then come back here and use the crystal viewer to contact me. The, uh, the crystal combination to see rhyme is in my journal. You'll have to turn on the roof antenna before the viewer will work. Keep an eye on Yisha, will you? I'll be back. sleeping spot. My necklace showed it to me. You got it two weeks ago on an age called Serenia. Shows me all kinds of stuff. You think that's strange that my necklace shows me things? Dad does. He says a lot of things I've seen on Serenia aren't real. My brothers believe me though. in here just in case. Oh no! This box is supposed to make sure certain things always work in the house. There aren't enough rows lit up correctly. Only a green light on top of a failed row means something's getting power. I wonder if we can move them. Better not. Mom doesn't like me messing with electrical stuff. Come on, little guy, let's go see your friends. Hey, I never know this stop before. It's so cool. I think my beetles are making a nest. Oh, wow. I'll have to show this to Dad soon as he gets home. He loves this kind of stuff.
can make a whole world. <laughs> You're not making a world, my desert bird. You're making a link to a world. Come on, I'll show you an easier one.
was starting to worry about you. In the dream, you always arrived before Third Bell had rung. Welcome to Serenia. I am Anya, one of six now serving as protector here. You may find this hard to believe, but my sisters and I dreamed you would be coming. Searching for Yisha. I fear she may be in trouble. We have not seen her since we gave her the necklace two weeks ago. I will gather my sisters to help find her. In the meantime, you should consult the memory chamber. She always knows more about what's going on in this land than we do. Follow the ceremonial alley to her doors and see what insight she has to provide. It's not what you think. I'm just taking it for a little while. Borrowing it, so to speak. It's the plan. Cyrus's plan. He's got Yisha. I, I just want to stop him. He's a nutcase. He's here. And don't let Father come here. Or you'll screw up everything. Find my journal. The one from 20 years ago. Cyrus doesn't even know that I kept one. I hid it in a stone pillar in the forest near where two rivers are crossing. It'll explain everything. Cyrus is mad. He's gonna kill father. And I've gotta stop him.
Let's work together, he said. Let's figure out how to get rid of Father before he sees what we've done to his precious box. Sure. I'll work with you again, little brother, but I'll trust you about as far as I can throw you. Do not be afraid. My sisters and I can speak with you now. Anya told us you needed help. So while you were exploring this physical manifestation of Serenia, we decided to travel her mirror realm. A world in which our ancestors have great power. Call Dream. We asked the ancestors to show us what happened to Yisha, but the things they revealed did not make any sense. We think it's because the message is intended for you. This disturbed us, for it means you must travel to dream, something which you must never do without a spirit guide. Normally, finding the guide best suited to your true nature takes time, but we have decided to help by examining the weave of your past actions. Please, place your hand on the claw. It will allow us to know which guide you must seek. of water or so the weave shows you appreciate the beauty and richness of life around you you are confident in your ability to succeed but willing to seek help when answers seem elusive you must seek a water guide to accompany you go to the stone forest and seek him in the pools he likes to inhabit the mark you now bear in you will gain his attention be carrying the offering that most pleases his senses and he should agree to accompany you in dream. There is only one such offering. Once you have succeeded, proceed to the memory chamber. Zanika will be waiting for you there. This cloth is now yours to keep. Do with it 
as you are. There's little I can say to prepare you for what you are about to experience. The Mirror Realm is different for everyone who travels there. But your guide will be waiting in his true form to meet you, and will explain what you really need to know. Please, lie down. Normally I would remain until you return, but with everything that's happened today, I cannot. So, should you decide to leave Dream without getting the answers you seek, you will have to return to it later without help. In that case, just focus on the all-seeing eyes of the ancestors, and you should be able to travel there. Are you ready? Then gaze on the eyes high above you, and let your journey begin.
not what you expected, is it, Traveler? You are here because you want to find the answer to something that troubles you. Why then, wouldn't dreams seem dark and mysterious at first? Do not be afraid. The fragrance of your offering still lingers. It pleases me. So, I shall light this darkness for you and lead you to the ones you call the Ancestors. Come, I sense the arrival of one who does have the power to influence dreams. She resembles an ancestor, but she is not yet one of them. Nor is she a traveler, for I sense no waking mind to return to. It's as if that connection has been severed prematurely. Do not understand how this is possible, but this is the one you seek. The ancestors approach. They will attempt to communicate. I can feel the ancestor's wisdom at work. Pay attention, for you'll never see this revelation again. The answer has been seen. There can be no turning back. Goodbye, traveler, until we journey together again. You've returned. I had hoped to discuss your experiences in dream. But you can't always count on hope, can you? Not when so much of what the ancestors have shown us has already come true. The others have gone to alert the village. I must go inside and protect the memories. I will not allow anyone to enter until this crisis has ended. I wish there was another way, but in all of our dreams, the last task always fell onto you. Good luck.
it's you. You've come to rescue me. Over there, there's a lever that'll set me free. Hurry up before Aknar comes back. What are you waiting for? He'll kill us! Inside her head! What? This is Cirrus, I tell you! Look, he's got the life stone. Serenia's memory chamber can't survive without the Shut life Shut up! Please, I'm your little sister. He's just playing games with you. You see, he's a killer! No. No! I told you already. I only stole this to stop Cirrus from hurting father, but I was wrong. He was after Yisha all along. No, he's the one who kidnapped me, not Cyrus. Look, we have to set everybody's memories back right again. The Amber Lever. Turn the Amber Lever to begin the process. No, you'll kill me if you do that. Hooray! Before the memory chamber gets too weak to power the transfer. Don't listen to him. No, you fool! My performance was perfect! Thank you. You may have won this round, brother, but it's not over. No! Cirrus! Don't! Oh, something has gone wrong. Isha's memories are not coming back again.
vision you witnessed here last time served you well. Yet still you see dream as dark and slightly dangerous. Why? I see the answer in your need. You are not just looking for visions this time. You seek the very memories themselves. The one you know as Yisha is still here. She's been unable to return to her waking mind because her connection with it was severed prematurely. Come, I will take you to her. Yet the strands of dream are shifting. Even as we approach, I sense the connection of the only. So when will you reach out? Interloper! That traveler has no guide. He's using Yisha's memories to remain anchored in dream. Otherwise, he would be lost and quickly crushed amid dream's constantly shifting waves of possibility. Why is she not aware of him? There, do you see the anchors he's using? They are very powerful memories, which both Yisha and the Traveler have in common. Somehow he's jumbled them up and is using the confusion to hide himself from her. She cannot return to a waking mind while he is attached. You can release her. By entering both memories and replaying them correctly, you may startle the Traveler enough so that he reveals himself. I will send you into the first one now and await your return. Daddy's really good at chess. You should play him. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chess set. You could make one, just like you made my spirit guide. I could, but it's really hard to carve figurines that small. They break so easily. Well, maybe Mom and Dad could give you a set as a present. Ha! <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. That way I'll never be able to break it. It's working. We must move swiftly. The traveler knows what you're doing and will try to impede you. Go. See this glow, little sister? See how round and smooth and empty it is? When I turn the switch, the chair you're sitting in will activate. Lights will go on. And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body. Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. Father and mother will teach you the art. Never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. Of course I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. Then I'll put my new memories back in my body, and no one will be able to stop me. She's free. You have done well. One you know as Yisha has rediscovered her waking mind. Even now, 
she begins to return there. The interloper cannot follow her. The strands of dream close in on him, and without a guide to shield him, he will be completely crushed under their weight. Turn now to your waking life until the next time you wish to travel in dream.
Thank you.